It's said that you can use ping pong balls to raise a sunken ship. To find out if that's true, Adam first needed to figure out how much buoyancy a ping pong ball could provide. The test results showed that 15 ping pong balls can offset one pound of weight. They started with an ordinary fishing boat that weighed 28,000 pounds. According to the calculations, it would take around 400,000 ping pong balls to lift it, which was clearly unrealistic. So they switched to a smaller boat, which only required about 50,000 ping pong balls. Next, they needed to test how much pressure ping pong balls could withstand underwater. They sealed the balls inside a container and gradually increased the pressure. The tests showed the balls could handle the pressure at a depth of 90 feet underwater, which was more than enough for the experiment. The final challenge was figuring out how to get 50,000 ping pong balls inside the sunken boat. Jamie came up with a clever idea. Connect a hose to the inside of the wreck and pump water through the other end. That way, the ping pong balls could ride the current straight into the boat. Once everything was ready, they headed to the dock. First, they removed all unnecessary parts inside the boat to create more space for the balls. Then they filled the boat with water until it sank to the bottom. After connecting the hose to the wreck, they began pouring ping pong balls into a large funnel. When about 26,000 balls had been pumped in, the bow slowly started to rise. Nine hours later, the sunken boat finally floated back to the surface. In the end, they used roughly 28,000 ping pong balls, about half of the original estimate. The experiment proved that salvaging a sunken boat with ping pong balls is not just a myth, it actually works.